Hello all and welcome back to the channel. This is Ketul Patel and in this video we are going to see that how we can install ADB drivers in Kali Linux and how to use the functions of ADB drivers on a mobile device. So let's start the tutorial without wasting time. So here I am in Kali Linux 2020.2 so first let's open the terminal so first we will install the adb drivers so to install the adb drivers you need to type this command it's sudo apt get install android tools and adb Enter your password over here and it will start installing the ADB drivers to our Kali Linux. Press Y. Wait until it downloads the ADB driver and install to your Kali Linux. So after two two three minutes our adb driver is installed and the same way to install the fast boot you just need to type sudo apt get install android tools instead of adb just write fast boot and it will start installing the fast boot to your kali linux press y and wait until it downloads and install fast boot to your kali linux So after a long process our fastboot driver is installed so we have installed both our fastboot as well as our adb drivers tools to our kali linux so now let's so now test uh, the adb driver so to test the adb driver type adb space start text server so you can see that it is starting the ADB driver at port 5037 that is a TCP port so it started successfully so we can see that the ADB driver is installed successfully in Kali Linux now to perform the basic operations on your mobile device you need to enable the USB debugging option in your mobile phone so you need to connect your phone using an USB cable so now to perform the basic operations on your mobile device you need to enable the usb debugging option in your mobile phone so you need to connect your phone using an usb cable so as you can see on the screen open your settings scroll down and go to system and you will find a developer option over here so click on the developer option and here you can see that there is an USB debugging in it. so you just need to it will be disabled so you need to in you need to enable that so after enabling that you will get an option over here so it says USB debugging connected and if you're not getting this developer option in your settings just click on about phone and here you will get your build number so you need to click three time on the build number and your developer option will get enabled so this is how you enable the usb debugging and the developer mode in your android phone so as you can see that my usb my usb debugging is on turned on and is connected to my system so now uh, you can see that allow USB debugging is popping up to ask the permission from you. So you need to press allow and if you want to remember this device so just click allow always allow from this computer and click allow. So click allow and now let's go back and now let's go back to our 
Kali Linux. So now here type adb like l devices. So this command is, is used to list the devices that are connected to our system. So So it is ADB devices like L. So as you can see that my OnePlus 7 is connected to my Kali Linux using the USB interface. So there are two ways to connect your device using ADB. So one is via USB and the second one is the wireless method. So to connect your ADB, to connect your mobile with ADB using a wireless without a USB cable, so you need to first type ADB space TCP IP and say 555. So now what it will do is it will start uh, listening from the port 5555 that is the TCP port. After getting the IP address, you need to type this command that is adb space connect space your IP address of your mobile phone. So for example, my IP address is 192.168.0.1 and then you need to type colon 5555 that is our TCP port. So our adb will connect to our mobile device using this IP address and the TCP port that we have started that is 5555 so this is not my IP address so as you can see that it says connected to this IP address and now it will be like I can remove my USB from my mobile phone and I can wirelessly connect to my mobile device using the ATP uh, now I will guide you to the basic commands and how to use the ADB driver. So some of the startup things that you need to know about the ADB. So first one is transferring the files between laptop and mobile devices. So uh, first of all let me uh, make sure that let me clear the basic idea of the storages. So if you are using the internal storage then it will be slash storage slash SD card 0 so SD card 0 stands for the internal storage and if you are using the external storage then it will be SD card 1 so to get the file from your mobile command that is AD, adb space pull so pull is to get some data from the mobile and save it to your laptop. So adb pull slash mnt, mnt because I am not using a rooted phone space sd card. I am using the internal storage slash path. So I have a download folder in my internal storage and I am downloading a uh, application that's name is zentity.19.apk so this is the command so adb pull pull is to get some data from your mobile mnt slash sd card that is my internal storage download that is a folder in my internal storage and zentity3.19.apk so that is the file name that i want to retrieve from my mobile phone and press enter so as you can see it is start, it started downloading that application and it will be stored in my laptop so wait until it gets downloaded So as you can see that uh, this file is successfully pulled from my device.
So here you can see that the Z anti 3.19 APK is stored inside my home directory of my Kali Linux in my laptop. So now let's create a document in our so let's create a document over here on our desktop name it as test and create so now what we will do is we will send this test file from our laptop to our mobile device so as we are using pull to get some data from mobile we will use push to send some data from our laptop to android device so type adb slash push slash now here will be the path so desktop and our file name that is test and our path where we have to store that in our mobile device so mnt slash sd card slash let's say we want to store a download folder and press enter so you can see that it says one file pushed to our device so you can uh, go in your download folder and check whether that file is pushed successfully or not so this is how you transfer the files from laptop to mobile device and from mobile device to laptop using the adp driver so next now let's so next we will see that how we can install and uninstall the applications in your mobile device using the adp driver so first let's install application to our mobile device so we will install the same application that we have pushed from that we have pulled from our mobile device that is the zidnt 3.19 apk so to install the application you need to type adb install and your apk name so make the path where your apk is stored so this is the command adb install and the location the path where your application is and press enter so wait until the application get installed in our mobile device and uh, this all commands are in description you can go and check that commands over there So you can see that our application is successfully installed and you can even see the screenshot that I have captured and it says that the application is installed. So now if you want to uninstall an application from your mobile device you need to type in command but what if you don't know which application you want to uninstall so to list down all the installed applications in your phone you need to type adb space shell space pm space list space packages so this command will uh, help you to list down all the installed application in your devices so as you can see that this many application are installed in my devices so let's find our znt application So now here you can see that this is the ZNT application that we have installed. So now to uninstall this, just copy this package name from here. So that is com.zimpremium.zNT. And let's clear the screen. And now to uninstall, you need to write adb uninstall space tick tick user space zero and the package name and press enter
so wait until it yes so you can see that uh, our application is successfully uninstalled and even I have shared the screenshot with you so you can see that the application is successfully uninstalled and if you will just type this adb shell pm list packages and grab so you can see that the application is successfully uninstalled so this was how you install the application uninstall the application from your android device and you list all the installed application from your mobile device so this is how you can get to know that what the user or the target has installed in his application and you can install your any of the payload or any of the application next is we will if you want to watch the logs you want to monitor the log of the android device then the simple command to watch the log is adb space logcat so you will get all the logs of your android device that is connected using the adb to your system and the logs are pretty much complex to read if you understand the log files then it's good for you you can check the logs of your device just stop this operation because it is endless so this is how you check the log operations of a mobile device now the last is if you want to create the backup of the applications uh, of your android device or you need to backup the files from the android device then you need to use a backup option in adb so for that the command is adp backup space tick f so f is the file for the file name so let's say is backup version 1 and if you want to provide the options over here there are multiple options that are available with backup command so the first one is if you want to backup all the application then just write apk and press enter it will backup all the apks of your android device and if you don't want to backup the ap and if you don't want to backup the apks then just write no apk and it will not backup any of the applications the apk file from the mobile so let's say we want to backup apk space if you want the obb data of your applications then you just need to write obb if you want the obb and if you don't want the obb just write no obb so it will not backup any obb data from your android device then if you want to uh, get the data of your external drive external device then you just need to write shared and if you don't want to get the data of the external if you don't want to get the external data then just write no shared so and if you want to get the system applications too then write system so what this command will do it will backup all your system applications that come pre-installed in your mobile application and if you don't want to backup the system application type no system so the commands are simple to understand and to write and these are all the basic commands that come with the backup and if you want to backup the whole data then just write backup all and press enter so it will now it says unlock your device so let me unlock my device and here you will so you can see the screenshot it asks for the permission to backup the data or not so if i will click on backup my data it will start creating a backup file that says backup version 1 and if i press do not backup so you can see that the operation gets terminated and no backup files are created so 
here you can see that a backup version 1 file is created but it contains no backup as we have cancelled the operation and after backuping the data if you want to restore that backup then the command is adb space restore space the file name so let's say our file name is is in our home directory so home our username and backup version 1 so when you will press this it will say unlock your device and you will get this you can see the screenshot it asks that you want to restore your data and or you do not want to restore your data so let's press do not restore so you can see that the operation got terminated so like if you want to backup you just need to press yes i need to backup the data as we don't have any backup created right now we will not restore any backup so this was so this was all about the adb how to use adb what are the basic functionalities of adb how to install adb so these are the some basic commands that you use for the adb so if you are getting any error while installing or performing any of the operation then you can comment down below and if you like this video press like button subscribe to the channel and stay connected for more of the videos coming thank you for watching